Good morning, Cougars, and welcome back to this week's installment of the Good News Network. It's great to see you all again and be back in Zoom land. We've got some fun interviews, baking videos, trivia, and more coming your way. You know, it's been a while since we last saw you guys. I don't think since Ski Week. How's your break, Kai? Oh, I had a phenomenal break. I uh, did a lot of sitting around. What about you, Noah? Did you do anything fun? Yeah, my break was pretty solid. I got to go to Tahoe, which was pretty nice. Now, uh, what awful joke do you have for us today? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. I've been thinking about this one for two weeks. Why, uh -huh. is, why isn't there a clock in the library? I don't know, Kai. Why isn't there a clock in the library? Because it talks too much. <laughs> Sometimes I think you talk too much. Well, funny you should say that, actually, because now I'm going to hand the microphone over to Sean with our student interview for today. He's going to be interviewing one of our su student Cougar sophomores, Kaya Hannapin. Kaya has made a name for herself traveling abroad for snowboarding competitions, hopefully getting to travel to Switzerland later this year. Take it away, Sean. Hey Cougars, we are here with this week's Cougar student shout out of the week, which is Kaya Hannapin. Kaya is an upcoming snowboarder and I will be here to ask her a few questions. Um, the first question for you, Kaya, is how long have you been snowboarding? 13 years now. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, where is your favorite place to snowboard? Like, do you have like a favorite mountain or a favorite resort? Yeah, so I learned how to snowboard at Kirkwood Mountain, so that's my favorite place. But this year I'm on the Squaw Valley Alpine Meadow snowboard team. So I've been uh, riding a lot at uh, Squaw Alpine this season. Oh, awesome. Um, what competitions have you like been entered in in the past and like how have you done? Yeah, so I've been competing in free ride snowboarding for the last three years now. And I compete in the Tahoe Junior Free Ride Series, which is in the far west region. And I've done pretty well. I ranked first in the nation last year, which is really cool, even though the uh, season got cut short. And then I've also done like competitions like bank slaloms and stuff up in, uh, I did the Mount Baker bank slalom up in Washington. And that was really fun. And then one's in Tahoe also. Wow, just casually first in the nation, had to throw that out there. That's awesome. Um, <laughs> like, do you know what your next step in your snowboarding career is? Like, I heard that you um, got into or were invited to an event in Switzerland. Do you want to talk about that? Yeah, so I got invited to the Freeride Junior World Championships that are going to be held in Verbier, Switzerland this year. Wow. So I'm headed to Switzerland at the end of March. I'm very excited. Only six girls in the world get invited to the event. So I'm really excited. Yeah, and just my next step in snowboarding is keep on riding hard, pushing my limits, competing, and just getting better each day I'm on the mountain. Nice. Um... Do you have any like specific goals for like your career? Like you maybe even like make it to the Olympics, something crazy like that? Yeah, so just to keep doing well in competitions and hopefully qualify for more comps next year, like North American Championships, maybe Worlds again next year, that'd be really fun. And wow. also just to get more girls out there competing. You know, there's not a lot of girls, so that's one of my goals for sure to get more girls out there. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, lastly, do you have any like tips for any beginning snowboarders or people that are looking to improve? Yeah, just don't be afraid to fall. I, I know it's scary to fall. I don't fall enough, but don't be afraid. It's You can always get back up. All right, awesome. Thank, thank you so much for coming to this interview and have a great week, Cougars. Hey guys, today so we're gonna do some baking and we're gonna make a super easy and quick five minute mug cake. So let's get started. And in case I haven't said this already, we're making a chocolate mug cake because you can never go wrong with chocolate. So let's put everything together. Okay, so I have all my ingredients laid out. We have sugar, flour, milk, cocoa powder, oil, vanilla extract, an egg, and some chocolate chips. Okay, so now that we've mixed it all together, we're gonna put it in the microwave for three minutes. Okay guys, now that it's finished, we're gonna see what it tastes like. So, try it. Ah, it's hot, nah, no. 
Okay, so make sure you cool it before you eat it, but it's actually really good. And if you guys are looking for just an easy and simple dessert, I think it's definitely something you guys should Wow, try. Kaya, that is a huge snowboarding accomplishment. So impressive. Best of luck to you in Switzerland, and we can't wait to see the highlights. And Connor, thank you for that tutorial. I loved watching it. Now, Cougars, I think you know what time it is. Global news time. Absolutely. Recent research from the University of San Francisco shows that the U.S. may be able to achieve a net zero carbon emission by 2050 for the cost of only $1 per person per day. These, this research speculates that by focusing on the infrastructure of wind, solar, and nuclear power, we can achieve this goal in just 30 years. In addition, many of you guys probably know by now that the vaccines are rolling out across the country. In fact, many of our own cougars in the workforce have already begun the immunization process. So be sure to check with your employer on your eligibility for the vaccination. For information on the vaccine, be sure to check with cdc.gov. That's super cool. That's really uplifting. And uh, now some local news for you guys. The first one is that Jared Wilk, one of our Half Moon Bay community members, he's competing on Jeopardy. So if you don't know who this guy is, he lives here on the coast side. He's a teacher at San Mateo High School. And so it's really cool. So let's let's all wish him good luck on his Jeopardy journey. Another story um, of one of our Half Moon Bayans going, nat going national. Uh, one of our co-side lawyers, uh, Louis Castoria, um, they're going to the U.S. Supreme Court. So in her court case, Thomas More Law Center versus Becerra, she'll be fighting to see whether the state of California should be allowed to compel nonprofits to disclose their top donors to the attorney general. So whether you support the cause or not, it's just cool to see some of our co-siders going big like that. Uh, the last piece of local news that I have for you guys here is that the weather is getting warmer here in Half Moon Bay. Uh, the days are getting longer in these next couple months. And uh, I hope that that encouraged you guys uh, to look forward to the days ahead because you guys are killing it. That's great, Kai. That's your real mood uplifter. Yeah, it was a mood, upli mood uplifter to me too. Made me happy. But we've got to move on. Next, I think that we got Emily coming at us with the leadership announcements. All right, on to you, Emily. Hey Cougars, this month leadership is hosting a contest where students can submit videos of them practicing their favorite hobbies. If you submit, you'll be entered to win a gift card and you could also be featured on the HMB leadership Instagram page. Please send your videos to 70300 at cabrillo.k12.ca.us by March 9th to be entered. And all the videos must be under 15 seconds. Also, ASB elections are coming up, and sophomores, freshmen, and juniors will be able to vote for their new ASB president, vice president, secretary, treasurer, and student body representative. The winners of the recent photo views contest was Katie Harris, and the winners of the gift card giveaway were Ashley Chavez, Jessica Barajas, and Aaliyah. 